There are guided weapons that are a threat to low-flying aircraft like helicopters. Guess what they are? Yes, we're talking about the Manned Portable Air Defense System or in short, MANPADS. They are surface-to-air missiles that can be fired by an individual or a small team of people against aircraft. These missiles, affordable and widely available through a variety of sources, have been used successfully over the past three decades both in military conflicts as well as terrorist organizations. They've received a great deal of attention, especially in the ongoing Russian-Ukraine war, so without much further delay, let's jump right in to the top 8 manpads in the world. At number 8, the Grom. This is a Polish manned portable air defense system based on the Soviet Igla 9K-38 missile that was adopted in 1981. It was reported that during the 2008 Russia-Georgian War, 12 Grom missiles were fired against Russian planes and helicopters with 9 of them hitting their targets. The missile carries a high explosive blast fragmentation warhead weighing 1.27 kilograms and it also has an infrared guidance system. The missile includes a contact detonation mechanism that detonates when it lands on its intended target. It can reach targets at a range of up to 5.5 kilometers and at an altitude of 3.5 kilometers. Up next at number 7 is the 9K338 Igla S or SA24, which is a Russian made, man portable, infrared homing surface to air missile defense system. It is an improved variant in the Igla, having a longer range of up to 6 kilometers. It has higher jamming immunity due to good target selectivity against the background interference. The Igla S also has increased warhead weight, laser based contact proximity fuse compared to its predecessor. The warhead also features high explosive charge and fragment number. The Igla S system can engage cruise missiles and drones due to its great combat efficiency. At number 6, we have the Japanese Type 91, which is similar in appearance to the US made FIM 92 Stinger. The Type 91 is officially treated as a 4th generation manpad system, and it features an excellent guidance system that includes both visible light and infrared system options. The missile captures the visual profile of the target during launch and is able to ignore defensive countermeasures such as flares. Improvements of the Type 91 Kai included missile with image infrared seeker, smokeless motor and the capability to have faster shooting and target acquisition, and was also improved for the ability to be used at night. Its top speed is Mach 1.9. At number 5, we have Starstreak LML NG. This is a British manned portable air defense system manufactured by Thales. After launch, the missile accelerates to more than Mach 4, making it the fastest short-range surface-to-air missile in the world. For a high hit probability, the Starstreak LMLNG uses TV and thermal imaging cameras, as well as manual and automatic target tracking modes. The Starstreak missile can engage targets up to 7,000 meters away, and one of the main advantages of this system is that it cannot be suppressed with anti-radar missiles, and it cannot be jammed by radar countermeasures. Up next is the Mistral, which is a French manned portable air defense system developed by MBDA. The missile is lightweight and is very accurate. It travels at a maximum speed of 930 meters per second and having an altitude of 3 kilometers. The missile's warhead weighs 3 kilograms. It employs a laser proximity detonation system which minimizes the risk of premature explosion. The Mistral Man Pads has a high kill probability and it also boasts 97% proven success rate and higher reliability than any other existing low-level air defense missile. This missile also has increased maneuverability even at extreme speed. Up next at number 3 is the RBS-70NG. This is a Swedish manned portable air defense system produced by Saab. The integrated sighting system includes a thermal imager, built-in automatic target tracker and advanced visual cueing aids. 
The RBS-70 engine system can destroy targets within the maximum distance of 8 kilometers and altitude of 5 kilometers. It can be integrated with identification friend or foe interrogator to identify friendly targets. The system can fire missiles in difficult regions such as urban terrains and can function in all weather conditions at all times of the day and night. At number 2 is 9K333 Verba. This is a new generation manned portable air defense missile system that entered service with the armed forces of the Russian Federation in 2014. The Verba manpad is designed to detect and destroy unmanned aerial vehicles, cruise missiles, and other low flying air targets. It is capable of operating independently or as a part of a battery and can engage targets in the presence of a thermal noise. It employs a 9M336 missile. This has the capability to destroy targets flying at a speed of 500 meters per second at maximum altitude of 4.5 kilometers. It can engage targets at maximum range of 6,500 meters and its reaction time is 8 seconds. It can be deployed at any time of the day or night and in every weather conditions. At the number one spot is none other than the FIM-92 Stinger. This is a U.S. lightweight shoulder-fired manned portable air defense system whose basic model is the FIM-92A that entered service in 1981. There are many variants of the Stinger, of which the latest one is more sophisticated with huge improvements over the previous models. It was designed by General Dynamics and manufactured by Raytheon Missile Systems. It is intended to provide ground soldiers with the means of dealing with low-flying planes and helicopters. The Stinger FIM-92 Fire and Forget missile uses a passive infrared seeker on its flying target. A passive infrared seeker emits no radiation that a target aircraft can detect but instead guides on the infrared energy emitted by the target. The warhead is a 3kg piercing hit-to-kill warhead with a self-destruct timer and an impact fuse. The warhead can be detonated by penetrating the target, striking the target, or even destroying itself. Self-destruction occurs 15 to 19 seconds after launch. The Stinger missile has a maximum range of 8 kilometers. It can attack targets flying as high as 11,500 feet or 3,500 meters. In general, this implies that if an aircraft is less than 2 miles up and discernible as a form, the Stinger is most likely to hit it. Stinger missiles have a high degree of accuracy. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today, but don't forget to hit that notification and subscribe button for more videos from the buzz. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.